we're going to look at how to create an ASP.NET Core MVP model view controller project. So I do a create a new project and there is right here the template, but you can filter it. I like to do C sharp and you can type in right here ASP.NET Core MVC and you want to select the one that says model view controller. That will give you a few things to get you started. And then I create a name for my project and I'm going to call this one test project. And I can decide where I want the project to be located. I can use the default location, which is my, um, sorry, my home directory, the source repos directory inside of that. Or I could select something different. So I'm going to go ahead and select something different because I have a well root repository. So I go into this repository. I'm going to pick this new test project directory. Select that folder. And in that folder, I want to create my project. I can put the solution and project in the same directory if I want or not. It doesn't really matter. Um, I go ahead and click next. Um, just take a look at these things. You want to make sure you use things like HTTPS because that makes it nice and works better. And go ahead and create the project. This will take a little bit of time and it creates the project. And once the project is created, you can see it right here. There are um, some automatic files that are created by default. On the right hand side, you can see a little navigation uh, window. You can see your test project. You can see the properties. You can see the web root, which has a couple of default pages. You also have the controllers, which has the controller page. You have your models and your views, which are divided into a couple of folders. There's the home folder and the share folder. So if we want to look at these things, we can look at the controllers, you can see it has information about the project. These have a namespace, kind of the project dot controllers. And then inside of it, you can see individual pages. So this one has the um, index page right there. And you have a privacy page. So index and privacy. And those, it says we're going to use the view. If you jump over to views, you'll expect to see both an index and a privacy page. And in the home directory, you see there is an index page and a privacy page. So in the top, we can see there are a couple of pieces of code right here. So these files are .cshtml, which is, means it's like a C sharp mixed with HTML. And this stuff in the top, indicates we are be we are using information from c sharp and we're going to be putting it into the page this other stuff right below from line five to nine is straight html code and you can see things that start with at sign every once in a while embedded in there when it's trying to use c sharp code so privacy it has same kind of thing and you can see this at sign right there at and view data and title. So it's taking the title that we have up here and it's putting it right here. So we can then, if we want to run this project, there's this drop down right here. And you can drop down and select which browser you want. Currently, mine is set to Google Chrome. I can switch it to something like Microsoft Edge and say, I'm going to launch this. So I press play and it launches it on the Google browser or the I guess Chrome, not Chrome, the uh, Edge browser. And I can see the page loads up. So it's an HTTPS page and you can see where it links over. There are two pages, the index that, well, the index page is the one we're seeing right now. And if I click a privacy, it'll take me over to the privacy page and you can see the privacy policy right there. And so this is the page. I can go ahead and close this and it drops back and I can modify the page if I want to. I can say, well, I want to change the index page, change it and say, well, let's put something else instead of here. This I'll put H1 and say, 
my new my new page and save that and run it and you can see that it will show up with my new page displayed right there in the center so this is basically how to create a new project and get started um, we'll be looking at more things later but right now this is just the basics of getting a page up and going